place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom? Or can we go? You may go. I know you've things to do. I shall find my own way back. something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the sentry. I'll take care of it. I shall try to get through the barrier. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Liana... Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhanicair, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. 
He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's. But one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. How did you get in here? We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now.
That's better. Let's get out of here. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. I doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. Lower your voice before we need another grave. How can you defend him? Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, None will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. 
have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Eridan won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Eredin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm hmm. A she elf. Claimed you hate Siri. So, how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Tell me something more about Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. A golden child who grew up to be a criminal. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, 
painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers. And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. That's nice of you. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial Fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Wow. Emir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. say you're wrong there. Huh. I thought I could at least count on you to treat me seriously. Never treat you any other way. You know that. You can't defeat Eridan. Don't stand a chance. Damn it, I don't know if I can. So stay away from him. Far away. Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Gets that from her father. I beg to differ. Emir is a pragmatist. Siri an idealist. An idealist? What are you talking about? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Unless you wish to come with me now. No time to lose. Sooner we get this done, the better. Follow me.
I give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith sirenard, ede eich blame, idle Elven bauble worked. They approach. Galebuane. Follow me. The novel fair must be nearby. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly. The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his stuff. I'll not stop with his stuff.
Almost, Sira. Almost. Just yard. Any last words? Let's get trapped. You fight. You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire.
You said you had something to tell me. Avalar has tricked us both. He set us against each other, and he's made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Same as Eredin, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. Damn! Avalok surrounded the tower with a magic barricade! Can you dismantle it? Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics, Yen. Will we both get through? No! You must go alone! I'll come back. With Ciri. I know! Now, Geralt! I'm fine! Now go! And give Avalok my heartfelt regards! I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. Seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. 
Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. The gentleman will follow. Enough.
Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. They're familiar with the prophecy. Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you ever again. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Master Ort. Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Cereal. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Yeah! Show 
Out. How was your trip? Smooth sailing. You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? <sighs> You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. We were so laid in that boat, we barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours. Still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. <sighs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the God's names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Eh? <sighs> What's going on? You've not seen us? Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Witcher. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. That a threat? The Witcher will not cooperate. Take him. <laughs> Thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, what was it? Uh, funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you, we would, but but you look like one who's just frowning any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. Won't say no to friends. Actually, I'll gladly take some of that coin. Witcher's ethics. <coughs> World's going to shite. At least we nicked his dinghy. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witch. 
such a sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Ymir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir of our Emrys conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the Mir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres' enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores. Looking instead to her people, tending to her land, the island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. 